Hello, my comics and comic catchers. It is I, the Cup Comic, bringing you guys and gals another quick vlog. So, I just wanted to firstly apologize for live streaming today, even though it started off great towards the end. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't get back on. It just, it, I don't know why it wouldn't let me stream for some weird reason. It just kept cutting off. I tried to play a game for dying seven days or whatever it's called, and I couldn't get on there. And it wouldn't let me uh, stream it for long, so I ended up obviously cutting a bit short with what I wanted to do in terms of that. Uh, I definitely don't think it was a graphics card issue. For some weird reason, the stream kept saying that it was inactive, or it was uh, disconnecting, sorry, from the internet and then reconnecting. And I was like, why is he doing that? I don't know. So, yeah, the PC was having a, a few internet issues or something was going on with the internet. I don't know what that was. but. It happened. So apologies for that. So tomorrow should hopefully be a lot better. I have double checked everything and everything seems okay. I've also reset my stream key just to refresh it and then copy and put it back onto OBS. Now, luckily, we have got OBS working now. So we can use OBS instead of the RE Central, which is what I was using before to play PS5 games. So we can go back to playing PS5, which is pretty cool. I've also found out how to sort of temporary combat the boom 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 in my ears so we've got that fixed as well uh for now or some form of fix for that just to let you know as well this thursday coming is when my new controller arrives so keep an eye on the channel if you want to see about this controller the controller is from a company called aim controllers and they basically do uh some some really cool stuff here if i show you here um, if I pull myself over here, shrink me down like that. Right, go over to Google and then I'll show you these as well. As you can see, you've been watching a little bit of Nick Merckx. Get off Nick and talking about GPSH. So if you go here to AIM PS5 controller, it's the top link here. It says euaimcontrollers.com. You click here. Actually, I'm not blocking that on my note. And it brings you here. You can actually go to PS5 controllers and you can actually order PS5 controllers from here. You have to excuse me to being a bit slow. I've been doing some configuring here. And then what I did is I took off the chair excess. And that's why it's incredibly slow at the moment. Let me just boost it back up and re put on the chair excess again. There we go. So you can build your own controller here. So I went in, I built my own custom PS5 controller. As you can see here, and all I've done is basically, I didn't change anything, but you can change the front shell, middle part, action button, D-pads, all that stuff, left, right sticks and everything. All I did for me was go for the spider paddles on the back and then just add a specific color. And this is where you get, and then you choose where you want your buttons to be. So to keep going there, yeah, I want my X to be. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where it would be. So X would be there to jump. That'd be my, for my left hand. And then obviously, whatever that would be, that would be maybe square or triangle, so on and so forth. Then you could choose. So I went for the minimalistic stuff just to try and see if we get the order early. Order early, earlier, but as you can see, it's 142 euros, which is actually about roughly about 150 pounds. Because not only do you have to pay that amount, but you have to pay for the shipping and there's the uh, VAT costs as well. So it's very expensive, about 150 pounds altogether that it cost me to fully get the controller. You can pay an extra 60 pounds, and they do have a special uh, thing here called Speedy Aim. We get it in three days or something like that. But again, £60 they have to pay for. Another company you could try as well, which I want to tell you about briefly during this quick vlog, is this one called Hex Gaming. Now, I've not tried these. I did try and contact them and said, you know, if you want me to do a review of your controller. But it only has two buttons, as you can see here on the back of this controller. So I don't know if you can... Sp specify more than that 
but that's 250 pounds as you can see and that's the back button you can see you only get two left and right and you press that button and you can assign any of the front to these two paddles on the back uh for this one i don't know if it comes with the ability to remap uh no remapping spider no i would have picked the wrong one then yeah i would have needed that one so it might not be remappable but there is a remappable one here that you can choose damn it i wish i knew that i would have made sure it was remapped um so that's gonna be a pain i didn't see that bit i only saw this bit god damn it oh, i don't know but yeah these com two companies do controllers, but this one, obviously, the downside is it only does two, and the one, obviously, does four on there, so it's completely, you know, to which one you would prefer to, to go for. But these companies, obviously, do do this, and uh, I think you even get extra sticks as well, thumb sticks and things like that as well for uh, your actual device. Pretty cool. Let's just see, does this actually have four, or can you only actually physically have two? Let's have a look. No, 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 no. Yeah, so it's the... Um, yeah, so you can only... As far as I can see, you can only have sales fast shots. Hmm, I, I don't like the idea of that. I'm not sure what that means, but that could be that's that's buttons. Or is that just the case? Uh maybe that means the L1 trip. Yeah, I think that just means it's the um trigger stops. That's what that is, I believe. Don't believe that's anything else. I think that's just trigger shots. Uh trigger stops. It says uh, digital and it says 1.5 millimeter trip. So it's saying like how how far before it trips the actual controller to firing. Because if you didn't know, with controllers you have to pull a full press, but it doesn't actually take a full press to actually start to aim or fire. You can actually do uh, a shorter pull, but because obviously there's not there to stop your finger, you get the habit of still pulling full even though you don't need to on there. So yeah, there's these two controllers. I definitely recommend if you do, you get these, you get the smart, uh, the smart one here, because you can configure the, the buttons to these back buttons whenever you want to, and change it yourself on there. So this one is coming on Thursday, is when it's coming through. This one is going to come on Thursday, uh, not this particular one, but uh, yeah, the controller, just a minimalistic controller. But like I said, you can build your own. You can have weird thumbsticks and buttons and uh, trigger stops and all that stuff as well that you can actually have on there as well. So there you go. So that's coming on Thursday. You can even do it for Xbox, as you can see. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to kind of put out there and let obviously you know about this and it's coming on Thursday. We'll review it. I'll let you know what it's like. We'll check out the build quality, make sure that it's all fixed and, and it's actually properly put together. And uh, then we'll give it a bash and see what we think. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of my videos. So when obviously we get to Thursday, you get to see the new controller. We may even uh, play some Fortnite if we get the new controller in time, depending on when we get it. If we can't do Thursday, I might finish the week on Friday with some Fortnite which I've not played in a very long time because I just simply can't play it without back buttons. I've, I've got so integrated with back buttons, I can't use it any other way. I have to use it physically that way or not any way at all uh, because I, I just can't build and edit and stuff as quick without those kind of functions and be able to ramp up and build around somebody and to do that without being able to, having to take my thumb off the thumbstick all the time to jump and stuff. And my brain just can't cope with the using claw and all that crap. So, yeah, on Thursday, if it comes early on Thursday, we might try and do it on Thursday. If not, we'll do it on Friday and we'll see how we go. Uh, and uh, we'll get a bash. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed.
You know this, it is I, Backup Convicts, signing out. As always, I salute you, my Convicts, Convic Cats. If you want to check out some live streaming, I am live streaming tomorrow. We're going to be playing some more PC games. Or, no, well, not tomorrow, not PC games. We'll play some PS5 games tomorrow, and we'll see how we go, yeah. So tomorrow's PS5, half past 10 till half past 2, BST time, UK time. And yeah, see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye for now.